understand, 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 understand the concept of love. Understand, 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 understand the concept, the concept of love. Oh, I missed. Might have to take that uh, right wire instead of the left one. Whoa, my God. That was weird. It's gonna be you failing barrier skip for 10 hours straight, but it will be entertaining, and that's the important part. You don't show up for the content that you're trying to provide, they show up for the shenanigans. Chocolate and Crackers is but it's funny, but because my co-host and I are just hilarious. I mean, I know, I understand the latter part of what you said, for sure. Oh no, a mascot in a gun costume. Wait, no, the other way around. Oh, there's just a bunch of these fools, and I can't run into them. I have to boost dash. That's unfortunate. So there's no uh, health bar above them. Look out! Guns and mascot costumes! Run! Oh, I guess the, uh, the textures aren't really loading right now. Might have to save just in case of a random killing of the game. Hopefully that didn't force the save. Uh, oh, okay, so they're not here at this lower part, they're up at the upper part where the original tape was. Understand, understand, understand the concept, the concept of understand, understand, understand the concept, the concept of understand, understand, understand the concept, the concept of understand, understand. Uh, here we go. What's he shooting at? The mysteries of life. A gun costume and a mascot? That's the one. Which mascot is it? It's probably something from Sanrio, honestly. Shenanigans will get me affiliate, I'm all good. Yeah, exactly. Do stupid shit on the internet. Eventually, someone will take note of it and will be all like, "Yo, you should get paid for doing stupid shit." Bash your head on the on a keyboard. Get paid. Buy a new keyboard. Rinse repeat. Buy eggs. Make how-to videos. Rinse repeat. The internet eats up stupid shit. Just the nature of it. He's the worst assassins ever. I mean, yeah. But don't tell them that. They're proud of their expert status, I suppose. Uh, I don't know how to get that one. Oh, I got that one. Sick. He's shooting me to be. He's using a uh, Splatoon gun, so he's actually shooting ink. That's my head cannon, and I'm sticking with it. Do I have enough graffiti for this? Yeah, probably, now that I've uh, knocked him over. Do I have enough health? That's the next question. Uh -oh. Knock him down. Knock him down again. Get man on the lawn! Among other places. Nothing I've never seen before. Oh wait, no. That. Nothing I've never seen before. Just 
pretty surprised. Whoa! What's all this one? Oh, the big one. Okay. A bit of hook. Okay, I'm glad it actually made me go up instead of uh, down because I was worried about my uh, momentum going into it. Also, to get that one, I mean, uh, and when I say that one, I mean the one currently in front of me, to the right of me now, I need to be up on the platform, the bus platforms. I'm sorry, life without music? Interrobang? The art in this game reminds me of No More Heroes. Yeah, they're both cell shaded games. I played only a little bit of No More Heroes recently on the Switch because it had a port, but uh, I should really get back to that. It seemed pretty fun. And not just because it was a cell shaded game. When this the same year as Wind Waker? Um. Wind Waker, yeah, would have come out around this time. If this was 2002, then Wind Waker is either 2003, 4, or 2, 3, or 4. They're like right near the launch of the GameCube. Go out to Deep. Oh, jeez, my knee! I'm gonna point that out every time I hear it, apparently. Yeah, I, I feel like Wind Waker was like 2003 or something. So this came out right at the launch of the Xbox in 2002, then uh, it preceded Wind Waker. Let me see if I can finagle this. Oop, nope, can't finagle that. Wrong way, Riv. Touch my phone. Oh, too short. Keep waffling between what I want to jump on to. I keep going on the wrong rail, too, so... That's also probably not helping. <laughs> yeah, the charging the lightsaber animation is definitely very goofy. It's like you're playing the Mario Party 8 minigame where you're trying to shake up sodas. And I imagine it translates a lot better on the Wii. Because in, in the Wii, you actually did have to use the uh, the Wii Remote to charge up the batteries on the, uh, the lightsaber. So in order to do that, you just basically shake it as though you're jerking it, to those unaware. And uh, yeah, that's how you charge up your lightsaber. No more heroes. Nothing wrong with that. That nope. I need a better approach. It, this in point of fact is not Mario Golf, so I can't say nice approach. No, too far. Red, stop being good at jumping. Well, no, I'm still missing a few. You're probably on this bus over here. There we go. Alright. Terminal's all done. I wanna go back to the uh, sewers and 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 get uh, cube. Because I was there already, but uh, I was getting a little worried about the clutch. Like, it, it, we needed to hurry in order to get clutch. Nice on! Birdie putt! 
Birdie putt is more accurate to uh, the actual cadence whenever saying birdie putt. Rith and Yo-Yo share the same stats? I believe that. There are a lot of uh, similarities between most of the characters in terms of stats and, uh, I guess, animations, too. This place plush. Jet Set Radio. If I was to cosplay as any one Jet Set Radio character, I would. it would be very easy for me to cosplay as Clutch. I've got lengthy hair. I wear baggy pants already. I've got kind of a similar, like build to him. So all I really need is uh, a couple of extra clothes and I'm basically good. Whoop, there he goes. Whoop, early. Ah, but it still counts. I have red skates. That's true. They basically make the exact same sounds as the clacky ones in this game. The wheels are very loose on it right now. And I think it's just because they don't fit very well. And I say very loose in the, hyper in the hyperbolic sense because uh, they're not extremely loose, but they're loose enough to hear them rattling around constantly. Yes, at Radio Future, the game with grinding, but the best way to get through some of these stages is to not grind. Hey, he's pretty soft-spoken, too, so I guess uh, he's also similar to me in that respect. Barks, can you confirm or deny? What's up, Cube? If you can beat me in my own game, I'll leave you alone. That's something weird to... Uh, it's weird to say to someone you just met, basically. Three, two, one, go! This is just a race back to start, I think, so... Can I land on the red rail? Yeah, there we go. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was silly. Confirm. Got it. Is this Koopa the Quick? I wish it was. Uh oh. That's bad. There she is, too. Uh. Oh, I shouldn't have boost dashed. Cuba the Quick. Speaking of Cuba, uh, any video that has uh, has birthday cake in the uh, in the VOD on YouTube specifically uh, gets banned in Cuba and Iran among other uh, two other things. So it's apt. It makes sense. We haven't heard birthday cake in a little while, but uh, might be for the best. Oops. Eh, I could have boost dashed over that, but oh well. You win! Two D colon D D B B. Who would have thought a little punk like you could beat me? Fair enough. I gave you my word. What do you need? Cube has joined you. That's all that's all we needed. Free massive Cuban and Iranian audience, exactly. 
basically what I'm getting at is don't really care. Not a big deal. It just means also that uh, a lot of these songs are copywritten, so I can't make money off of the videos, but oh well. I wasn't expecting the Jesset Radio um, VODs on YouTube to really sell people on my content. And if it did, then I, that just mean I'd have to play the game without any of the in-game soundtrack. Should I just knock out Kibo Gaoka right now? Like, I don't need to go back there ever for anything, right? Did I just knock out the graffiti there? Good 80% of the nostalgia people have got Jesset Radio is for the soundtrack. A lot of the... Right now, the Yonko is streaming. So the 13 people who are watching are the Jet Set Radio community? Wow. Thanks for tuning in. I guess I'm more so mean for the YouTube audience, not necessarily for the Twitch audience. Oh, look at him go. He's moving. He's gaming. Oh, look at him go. Whoa, that was an air? I did not think I was going fast enough for an air. All right. Uh, where are all the tags? There's one right behind me. Oh, just a couple of people chilling out on their on their date. I'm, I'm sorry, did this guy have a, a mask on? No, he's got a helmet on. He's like an airline pilot. Might be my own community. Fair. Look at this chill ass dance. <laughs> this is this is basically the extent of what I can do with a dance too. So, further proof that uh, Clutch and I are the same person. Okay, where is this thing? Here. Oh, does this mean it? I have to grab it after uh, making a full loop, or is it possible I can grab it by going backwards on this? I'll have to find out the hard way. You're part of the Water Geek community. Congratulations on the achievement, I suppose. I don't know if that's much of an achievement, though. You're part of my. Uh, something teen regular viewers. Like, I may have over, what, 10,000 subscribers? Almost 18,000 subscribers on YouTube, but so many of them subscribe for Pokemon content, so... Uh, not too many people, by comparison to that, actually watch anything I put out. Which, I mean, is, is true for a lot of content creators, honestly. Like... People will subscribe to channels that they enjoy moderately, but will not always check out every single video because not everything will pique their interest. It's just the allotment in life that you kind of have to deal with. And you can't force people to enjoy things, by the way. Also, Room of Cats! Look at him. Just being, vibing, meowing. What are you doing, Pokemon? Uh, most of the people who subscribe to me on YouTube for Pokemon are there for randomizers. So, uh, I'm a friend of mine, Madrybred, recently, like last year, not 2020, but 2019, he got big on YouTube for uh, doing Pokemon challenges. Like, he sets these restrictions for himself and plays through uh, Pokemon games using usually just one Pokemon or one 
uh, type of Pokemon or something like that. And he got pretty big subscribers-wise on that. And because he and I had already been doing randomizer series on my channel for a little while, viewers bled over, and uh, as a result, like Heart Gold Soul Silver, Black and White, Red and Blue, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire have all been uh, randomizers that we've done together and viewers from his channel pretty much found me through that and pe the people who stayed I appreciate them doing so but I understand that most people who subscribe to me are there mostly for the the randomizer stuff and uh, are expecting more randomizer stuff from both of us eventually so at the moment, uh, what's stopping us from recording more of that as well is uh, we're at a point in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire where my dry bread, my co-host, does not like, he's not confident he can beat the Elite Four with the team he has, so he needs to grind. And uh, he just hasn't had time in his busy life to uh, get around to grinding for a video series that is not his main channel, so uh, that, that series has been basically put on hold for a little while. Best way to get content is his 06 playthrough? You're only saying that because you're in it. If you look at it objectively, uh, you realize, wait a minute, the quality of this is kind of shit. The commentary is kind of shit. The di the uh, behavior of all people playing is kind of shit. So if you're just, if you're looking for something to watch, but not like enjoy, enjoy, uh, yeah, then the Sonic 06 playthrough is exactly that. Don't go into it expecting quality, is what I'm getting at. Be warned of very foul language during it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to play, uh, which is not something you should ever hear of Sonic 06, but it was fun to play because of getting to play it with the gang. And then I hope people would enjoy it just based off of that alone. everything. Unless I'm missing something up there. By the time we hit silver, we were all just angry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were getting very sick and tired of playing as, uh, as all those folk. It's basically the exact same story three times. Like, we were skipping the cutscenes, too. We basically knew the, the crap plot already. That was a very early jump. And there I go. <laughs> well, fellow angels, you don't have much of a filter when you stream, you gotta have some kind of filter. Yeah, exactly. Even if you mark your uh, stream as not for kids, then there's still going to be some kids bleeding over. And then once you teach them the, the naughty words, then you have concerned parents showing up to your streams telling you, like, oh, you shouldn't be saying that to my kids. At that point, why do you let your kids watch the watch the foul streams? Why can't, you, why can't those kids, you know, be better monitored, I guess? But what do I know? I'm not a parent. So my word should not be taken for gospel. Now the real problem is whenever uh, people's cats or dogs start uh, using the naughty word that they've heard on streams. That's the point where you gotta wonder just how bad of a parent this person is. Or talented. Bad or talented. We'll just go with both of them. Balented. I saw it behind the wall. Oh, there's actually a lot down here. There are very specific words that work has gotten out of me. Say fucking cunt and all that. Yeah. It's usually a lot more fun to do, uh, to make content whenever you have no filter and are allowed to have no filter, because that just means you can be a little bit more free in what you say. Once you have restrictions placed on you for, uh, the types of things you are allowed to say, it, start, it stops feeling like a you production. 
Excuse me. And it starts feeling like someone else's production. Like someone else is taking control of what you say. Basically what I'm getting at is if you're a content creator or a budding content creator, uh, relish the freedom that you currently have or might have. Once you start getting even bigger, you need to accept that uh, sometimes you're just gonna need to watch what you say. Yeah, there you go. Galel Skari is uh, a story writer as well, and is, like as a hobby, or professionally. Maybe you, maybe you do both, casual and professional. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Just a small streamer affiliate, so I don't just yeah, just don't filter myself. Yeah. Same with me, really. I just, in general, don't prefer to swear. I will swear, but I won't, like, gun for it. Let me save real quick, just to save all the progress I've done thus far. Still haven't had the game crash on me, which is very good. It shows me that uh, I can play the stable version of uh, JSRF whenever I want to without worry of crash. Bandicoot, that is. Because uh, on the Xbox version, I don't know if it was specifically my Xbox or what, but sometimes the game would soft lock itself after like the um, music loops on itself, and like it catches a record, a record needle basically. You know how whenever a record skips and it, it's just the record needle that's skipping. Um, Kind of the same thing happened with uh, the Xbox I was playing this on back in the day, uh, where it just kept skipping the song over and over. The gameplay would still uh, would still go on as normal, but sometimes it would just skip an entire song because uh, it got caught on a certain point, and then it, there was no music afterwards. And uh, I would just go like a few minutes without hearing any music, and then you just hear Chris go, JSR, Groovy, Jet Set Radio, and then that was it. Parents don't want children to hear or see something that is very simple way to be to do so. Be a parent! 